meeting room. And that's going to help America win the economic competition in the 21st century because much of my time is spent, how do we remain the most competitive nation in the world with the strongest economy in the world, with the greatest opportunities in the world? That's what today's announcement is about. It's about opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, he says opportunity, but I think Biden means something different. In fact, about 90% of the, end of the, the eligible beneficiaries make under $75,000 as family. Here's what that means. If you make under $125,000, you get $10,000 knocked off your student debt. If you make under $125,000 a year and you received a Pell Grant, you'll get an additional $10,000 knocked off that total for a total of $20,000 relief. 95% of the borrowers can benefit from these actions. That's 43 million people. Of the 43 million, over 60% are Pell Grant recipients. That's 27 million people who will get $20,000 in debt relief. Nearly 45% can have their student debt fully canceled. That's 20 million people who can start getting on with their lives. All this means people can start, finally crawl out from under that mountain of debt to get on top of their rent and their utilities, to finally think about buying a home or starting a family or starting a business. And by the way, when this happens, the whole economy is better off. In the coming weeks, the Department of Education will lay out in detail a short and simple form to apply for this relief, along with information when this application process opens. By resuming student loan payments at the same time as we provide targeted relief, we're taking an economically responsible course. As a consequence, about $50 billion a year will start coming back into the, the Treasury because of the resumption of debt. Independent experts agree that these actions taken together will provide real benefits for families without meaningful effect on inflation. Let's be clear. I hear it all the time. How do we pay for it? One word America can be defined by possibilities. It's all about providing possibilities. We're going to have a lot more to say about this. There's a lot of material that's going to be put out as to how this is being implemented. And I want to thank you all. And God bless you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. President Biden. Mr. President. Oh, gee, not taking questions. What a surprise. Uh, you got to be kidding me, this guy. Uh, just uh, about to be uh, heading back off my lunch break, uh, heading back to work. What's crazy is... Um, what they're not mentioning is the amount of debt that it's going to put our country in more debt. Um, you know, free, you know, it's like, oh, the Obamacare, you know? They're like, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your health plan, you keep your health plan. They knew, under Obamacare, just as an example, they knew that um, 10 million people right off the bat were going to lose their health insurance. They knew that. I even knew uh, one of my subscribers back then that actually had uh, been going through cancer treatments and they sent her a 30-day notice saying they were canceling her uh, chemo treatments that she was going through. They say, oh, free health care. Now it's saying, oh, free uh, education. Or I guess, well, what is this? I guess they're doing $30 billion, so it's $10,000 off whatever you owe, I guess. I think that's what they're doing. I have to double check it. I just caught the last half of that uh, press conference. But um, yeah, there's no such thing as free. Somebody's paying for it and that's the American taxpayer. And at the end of the day, we're all paying for it. Our taxes go up, price go up, inflation goes up, our debt goes up. We're already at over $30 trillion in debt. And that's not even the total debt. You say, oh, the national debt is oh, 30.5 trillion. I mean, our total debt is probably more than that. It's probably more like a hundred trillion dollars if you add everything together. And that—that's a whole other video. I'll, I'll have to do that now that I'm thinking about it. Um, oh, look at those beautiful mountains, huh? Beautiful day. And uh, no chems today. Organic sky. Looks like we might be getting a little bit of rain. But yeah, man, it's just one of those things where it's just like, you know, you ask yourself like, what the hell is going on here? And ultimately. 
you know, it's like our government just has an unlimited credit card and they're just spend, spend, spend. Okay, Federal Reserve, print us up another few hundred billions, print us up some more trillions. It's just not sustainable. I mean, that's the bottom line. It is not sustainable. And, and all of us end up paying the price for it. So, yeah. It is what it is, ladies and gents. If you agree with what I'm saying, like and share. If you have any thoughts about this, as always, feel free to comment below. And uh, I will check you all on the next video.